Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Uh, I got a DVD review. It's a film that was on telly the other day. Uh, I thought I'd give it a record. I've seen it before, but I thought it was pretty cool and uh, wanted to do a quick review of it. So the film in question is called The Incredible Hulk, and this time it ran around. It, uh, it stars Edward Norton. Uh, a few years old. I mean, it was made back in 2008. It's better than the uh, original Hulk that had uh, Eric Banner in it. It's made by a guy, Edward Norton. He he had quite a big say in it. He wasn't just the actor. But he had quite a big say in it because he's a fan of the Hulk and he didn't like what was previously done with the character so he stepped up and made it what it was today. Yeah, I thought it was, it was a pretty good film. It's got a good storyline. Well, an okay storyline really. It, tells you more of the in-depth story about the Hulk and how he tries to control the beast inside him. Uh, there's there's a lot of CG obviously because of the Hulk itself. Uh, you can see where a lot of the budget has gone. It's gone on the creature rather than any other effects really. It's, they're not as good as what they should be for a big budget action film like the Hulk. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, even the fight scene. There's a big fight scene at the end. Not really giving it away much, but there's a big fight scene. It's a very good fight scene with uh, the enemy character in it. And uh, yeah, there's the other the other effects. There aren't much really in the way of other effects when you see the Hulk and the other bad creature on the screen. That's about it. You can see where the budget's gone. Uh, you, you've you got Liv Tyler in it. I mean, I've never really rated her as an actress. Uh, she plays a bit a bit part, really, in the film. She plays the love interest. Yeah, Edward Norton, I mean... Edward Norton seems to steal the show, really. He portrays a good Hulk. Bruce Banner is the guy he plays, and he plays a good Bruce Banner. Better than Eric Banner, who did the original Hulk. Tim Roth, as well, a good English actor. He plays the baddie in it. He plays uh, Emil Bolonsky, uh, born in Russia but raised in England. William Hurt plays General Ross, uh, Liv Tyler's dad, really, the general. He is okay, he play, portrays a good actor, uh, well, a good character, really, a good general. You've got Robert Downey Jr. as well. He jumps on, he, uh, he does his bit for. Uh, for the Iron Man and for Avengers, he speaks to the general at the end of the film, and uh, which at the end of every Marvel film, somebody from Shield or the Avengers they pop in and give a little speech. Lou Ferrigno, the original Hulk, he's in it. He does a little cameo, which is pretty cool. It's good that they've carried him on. Same with Stanley as well, of course, the creator of the original Hulk. He's uh, he's in it, which is good. Small cameo. Maybe you could have given him something a bit better. Um, yeah, it was a good backstory, really. It's better than the original Hulk that Eric Banner did. Uh, it's a good lead up. It's a shame that Edward Norton couldn't be in the Avengers because Mark Ruffalo took the place. Maybe they could have got Mark Ruffalo to do the Incredible Hulk. You know, carried on the same character rather than change it for the third time. It was an alright film. If you like your Marvel, you like your Avengers, you know, you want to see a bit more of the story of the Incredible Hulk, then watch this as well as the Avengers obviously because the characters are both in it however it does change from Edward Norton to Mark Ruffalo which is a bit of a shame I think they should have carried it on but it's an alright story I wouldn't watch the Hulk uh, with Eric Banner in it I'd watch the one with uh, Edward Norton that's the better one really better Hulk film really so yeah just found it on my shelf an incredible Hulk film uh, it's better than the Eric Banner one. If you're going to watch any sort of backstory of Avengers, you've got your Captain America and you've got your Iron Man's, of course. Uh, but yeah, Incredible Hulk, he's got his own slight backstory, which is good to know. Uh, it's good to know up about on the, all your characters before watching the Avengers, really. So, yeah, definitely good. Thor, he's got his own film. The Incredible Hulk, I rate it. It's a good action film. It tells you the backstory of the character. Shame that they couldn't carry on... Uh, the character Edward Norton and Mark Ruffalo, you know, shame they couldn't do that to carry him on into the Avengers, but it's, it's a good good Marvel film to carry on, really. So that was my quick review of The Incredible Hulk. I enjoyed it, well worth watching, especially if you like your Marvel and your Avengers. Good way to catch up on the backstory of the character. Thanks for watching.